Hello Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all my fans and subscribers out there. Welcome to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing a ramen review, but it's going to be a little bit different than my normal ones, a little bit more involved. So, if you are familiar with Ichiran Ramen, you know that it's a major uh, ramen chain in uh, Tokyo, Japan, and I believe uh, they recently opened a location in Brooklyn, New York. They are famous for like their private booths and you never have to see your waitress and everything is done like with little cards you pay for a vending machine. There's a lot of food bloggers who've been there. If you Google Ichiran or search on YouTube, you'll see tons of people who went there. They uh, also have their own brand of instant ramen. You can now buy this in stores. They have a special variety that they sell in stores and they have two varieties that they only sell at their location. I have two of the varieties. This one, first one I'm going to show you, this one you can only get this at their location, or if you're like me, you purchase it online on eBay from someone who purchased it at the location. So this one you see, all the noodles are straight. You have this packet, this is just noodles. Nothing else in this packet but noodles. You get a bunch of these. These are just like soup packets. This is like a concentrated soup. They give you their uh, red chili uh, sauce. Not sauce, it's like a spice. Um, they're pretty famous for this. And the other variety is this. This is the, it looks like a regular kind of pack of ramen. And it has the curly noodles in it. And I'm just going to open it up to so let you see that. So it has the normal like brick of curly noodle. Now unlike the straight one that has a soup pack, this one has a multi-part system. So there's a number one powder. This is a powder. And they have a number two and this is a liquid. And then the third thing they give you is, of course, the red spice. And if you look at the picture here, that uh, glob in the middle, that's the red spice. And then the third variety is actually very similar packaging. See how this is like striped on the top? When you get to the bottom, it has a more solid color. Well, there's another bag that just has the same stripe here all the way down to the bottom. That's the only difference in the packaging. And then inside, instead of having the one and two, you'll have one of these soup packets. So they have the soup packet inside the package with the spice. So that's the difference between the three different packs. And they also sell the red pepper by itself as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make both of these um, and see what the difference is. If you notice on the package, it also shows uh, an egg, green onion, uh, these pieces of pork, and then this up here is actually wood ear mushroom. And I've actually created all those things to go with this. So I've had cut up green onion, and I might be showing some video of me cutting it right now. You have the woodier mushrooms. I bought these in a packet of dry mushrooms. Um, the ones I got, they're actually not woodier. They're called black fungus or black mushroom. And they're very similar to woodier. Um, the store that I went to did have woodier, but like the package was like five times as big as a pack of this, and I didn't want to buy all that. And when I googled it, they said they're culinarily similar, so it looks the same anyway. And then I grilled up some uh, pork pieces here. Um, I got this from the Korean store. Um, they are they were marinated already, and like a red sauce. It tastes delicious. I know it looks different than the pork. It's on the package there. 
But what can you do? That is actually really good. And then for the egg, I actually did soft boil two eggs. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the process of uh, two things here. First of all, the mushroom, it's dry. You have to soak it in a cold water bath first. Um, after the cold water bath, you, you kind of like rinse that into it. Then you put it in a hot water bath and that will make it more uh, less firm and dry and more almost like jelly. For the soft boiled eggs what I did was I boiled some water once it got boiling I put in two eggs I let that uh, boil in the water for six and a half minutes after the six and a half minutes I pulled them out put them in a cold water bath and after the cold water bath I uh, knocked them on the table to put a lot of cracks in it and peeled it and I was actually very happy with this sometimes when I do eggs like this it just uh, doesn't work either when I start cracking it and peeling it it just wants to stick to the the shell and whatnot but these ones actually came out relatively nice um, I did kind of break them but they're mostly all together so there you go now I'm going to go ahead and make the two all right, so I have my two bowls of ramen made. Before I add anything to it, I'm going to go ahead and taste this ramen without anything added to it and see which one tastes better. So first I'm just going to take some of the raw. One more time. Tastes a lot of onioniness, I think. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of the noodle. Interesting. Now I'm going to switch to the straight noodle bowl. And you can look at that one without spilling any. This one, the broth looks a little thicker. Mmm. Tons more flavor. I'm going to taste those noodles. These are the straight noodles. The difference in flavor is a lot. Wow. There is a big difference in flavor there. And that's not saying this is bad, but that one is a so... So I've put everything together. You see this bowl? I got the egg, the pork, the spice packets. Let me give you a quick look on the top of these. That's the straight one. That's the curly noodle. So let's go ahead, take our chopsticks, move that spice around with some of that onion, some of the mushrooms, that egg in there, the nice chunks of pork that I made. Oh, I forgot to say that I put the little piece of seaweed on it, trying to match everything that's on the picture. That red spice really kicks it up. All this together, the one tasty bowl. Very tasty. Go ahead and switch to that straight noodle bowl. This one is a lot thicker with the, the broth. Let's get all that with some spice in it. pork. This one is perfect. Need to cool down. Nice beverage. So I looked up on a menu on uh, Ichiran's website what they serve with their food. And one thing they do serve is this Kalpika soda. This is supposed to have a slightly yogurty flavor to it. Oh, it's very refreshing. Very slight yogurty flavor to it. But it's very creamy even though it's a soda. Actually really delicious. 
Calpica soda. They have a dessert there. It's a matcha jelly pudding. And I searched the store as much as I could to find some type of either pudding or a matcha dessert thing. Couldn't find any matcha jelly pudding. But I found this candy. And the candy actually has a little picture of matcha jelly. And that's a, very much what it looks like in the store. A little cup of jelly like that. But what these are, are marshmallows that are filled with a matcha jelly interior. So to make this Ichiran meal complete, let's get some matcha jelly desserts. In the interior you can see a little piece of jelly. Pretty good. The marshmallow exterior tastes just like any kind of marshmallow. It has that tea smell already. I'm going to bite into it. You get that nice matcha flavor. So what have we learned in this video? We learned that you could make a really good bowl of ramen at home. But another important thing I learned was if you go online, because these are not cheap. These are expensive things. If you're going to spend the money, either get the straight noodle packs, or if you go with the, the square curly noodle packs, get the ones that come with the soup base and not the ones that come with the number one powder and the number two liquid. The way you could tell, the stripes go from the top to the bottom. This one does not. That's why this one has the number one and the number two. Now I'm not saying you're going to hate it if you get that one. I'm just saying if you're going to spend the money, get the better one. Because I believe when I looked on the, online, these were both priced the same. And at the time I bought them, I didn't know there was uh, two different types of the Instant Pack. But now I do. And if I'm going to get it again, I'm definitely going to get the one with the soup base. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was uh, enjoyable and you enjoyed it and you got enjoyment out of it. And please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.